so I have both uh, uh, two different developmental shells pulled up, one for my e-commerce one and one for the marketing on the internet. I just wanted to just show how similar they are. And when I'm putting together my online classes, I kind of follow a formulaic um, way that I've set them up so that they're just kind of all, all the same and, and very uniform. So um, what I wanted to talk to everyone about today is kind of um, my basic approach to the course design and a point of contact to help students be set up for success. Um, so that includes my welcome email, a welcome letter, a syllabus quiz, which is during the first week, um, an introduction post uh, on the discussion board, and also sharing my contact information, which is all covered um, in the first week. So uh, to kick things off, I do email students a, a welcome email as well, and I have that pulled up right here. I'm not gonna read it, it's really simple. Um, but this goes out either the week or weekend before the course is actually going to open up and kind of let students know like how they're going to access Canvas and when they're going to be able to access it. It's, this is especially important for any students that haven't taken on, an online class before or haven't used Canvas. So I kind of want to get a jump on that and make sure if they have any questions or any concerns um, before the first day of class that they can already reach out to me um, right away. And then I also put that in the announcements section. Um, so this is my landing page for all the courses that I build. And I have kind of a checklist that I ask students to go through. Um, so it kind of filters them through what I feel is most important that they get acclimated to right away. Uh, so I've got the announcements. The next one is being able to review the syllabus. Um, I have uh, Canvas notifications, how they can set those up to make sure that they get notifications to their phone or email, whichever they prefer. Um, I have a welcome letter and then the course home. I have some resources and uh, my instructor contact. So I will go into the welcome letter. And this dives a little bit deeper into what I want them to know um, beyond just my welcome email. Um, this kind of talks about, you know, what I'm expecting from the class, um, how they can be successful. Um, some things about like browsers and tech issues that I've noticed that some students have had. So I put that up there right away um, to address those. And then um, going into course home, that takes them into the modules. So all of my classes I set up each week as a module. Um, and at the top, I've got course home start here. Um, so that relinks to some of those same things that you saw on my course home pages. Um, they can go back into the welcome letter if they want to review that. I have a post on how discussions work and due dates. Um, so they can kind of go through and figure out exactly how my discussions are set up, what's expected of them, the deadlines for those discussions, et cetera. Um, I've got my instructor contact, which has um, an old photo of me <laughs> um, and just a little background about myself. And again, some contact information and um, response times that they can expect from me. Um, and then I have a, a, a Q&A. So for any like general questions that they might have in the class, they can post on here and students can answer each other's questions. Um, a lot of commonly asked questions will, will show up in here. And so I feel like that's an easy way for students to jump in and kind of get answers really quick. Um, and then basically um, just to try not to overcomplicate things or overwhelm students, I just don't wanna give them too much information all at once. That's why I send out the welcome email and then kind of walk through those, uh, the checklist of things that I want them to do in the order that I feel is, makes the most sense for them. Um, and then basically once they've completed everything, they can jump into week one. So I have everything laid out um, on what they're gonna cover for the first week. I've got the um, syllabus quiz in there, which I'm not gonna go through, but it basically stuff that I really wanna highlight um, that I want them to catch in reviewing the syllabus, I put that in the quiz. And I've noticed that that has been really successful. I do a syllabus quiz even when I was teaching classes on campus. Um, and this ended up uh, answering many, many questions that I was getting before when I didn't offer the quiz. Students were like, when is this due? Or how do I reach out to you? Or when are your office hours? Those kind of things. Um, so I just kind of put those in the quiz and make sure that they know right off the bat that that stuff's in their syllabus. They can find answers um, where they're looking for. And then um, I'm actually still kind of reworking some of these to be even more user friendly um, and populating the week that we're actually working on on top. Right now it goes, you know, week one, week two, 
And students have said that can be kind of confusing to like scroll down. So I'm getting it to where I'm going to put the, the week that we're actually in at the top so they don't actually have to scroll down to uh, what we're working on. So I feel like that will be a little bit easier for them to navigate. Um, That's a great idea. <laughs> I, I got that from Megan Fiore. <laughs> right. And then what else? Um, I think that's really all I had. I mean, basically I just, there's so many exciting and different things that you can utilize in Canvas, but um, I try and keep things as simple as possible to start. And then I'm integrating more, um, I wanna use VoiceThread and some other options where students can interact um, with the class, you know, doing recordings of either audio or video. Um, right now it's set up to just, um, you know, type in their stuff in the discussion boards. And I found that um, they're pretty lively I require students to uh, respond to at least two other students and um, to choose students that maybe don't have any responses or who have fewer responses. Um, so I kind of have like a little guide under there to let them know like what I'm looking for, um, the deadlines and um, how to just make the discussion a little bit more engaging and, and interactive. Um, and I found that that's um, been really good for student interactions um, if they get started in the first week with those expectations being really clear. Um, and then I also asked them if they've taken an online class or used Canvas before. And this is really just for myself to kind of highlight if students are really new to Canvas, they've never been a distance learning student. I wanna make sure that you know they're supported right off the bat if they have any questions or if they run into difficulties with Canvas. Um, so this just kind of lets me know like where they're at and um, ways to kind of reach out to them in the beginning to make sure they feel familiar with how Canvas is set up. Any questions? <laughs>